welcome back. So I've got another one of my ColourPop favorites videos for you today, and today is going to be my favorite lippy sticks. Um, I have actually not tried any of their lippy pencils. I don't really like specifically know why. Um, I think maybe because I have other lip liners from other brands that I really, really love. So I just haven't grabbed any of the lip pencils. And I think every time I'm like, would I rather have a lip pencil or another lippy stick? So I go ahead and get more lippy sticks. So I picked out my favorites. I think I have around 10. I may have nine or something like that, but I'm gonna try to show you all of them on my lips. We'll see how accurate it shows up on my lips. They may get dyed, but we'll try our best. So yeah, I'm just gonna run through my favorites, tell you why I love them, and let's get into it. Okay, first up is the one that I'm wearing right now. This is in Skimpy. I love Skimpy because it is just a beautiful, I don't know, almost like peachy nude. It's definitely just your traditional nude, but it has just a little bit of that peach in it that just makes it so sweet. Um, I do enjoy wearing this with a lip liner. I'm not wearing it with a lip liner right now, um, but I prefer a lip liner. This can tend to accentuate um, any kind of dry patches and it can look a little bit patchy, but I just find that the more that I kind of like rub my lips together, it blends out nicely and I just love the color of it. And it's something to note about these. This is one of their uh, glossy formulas. They feel pretty thick on the lips, so you just kind of have to know that about them. You can't be looking for something very kind of light and airy feeling. Do lipsticks feel airy? I don't know. But you can't be looking for something light and not very noticeable on your lips. These definitely are felt on the lips, but I just love how glossy they are and they stick around a good amount of time and I just love this nude. Next is Button. This one is a glossy formula too. It's not nearly as glossy as Skimpy is. Um, I love this one because it's like an easy kind of wearable color, but it's very like peachy. It's basically a peach, but it's kind of more of like a muted peach. So I feel like it's such a nice, kind of easy everyday lip color for warmer weather but it still is something kind of fun and different too. I just really enjoy this one. This one was kind of one that sort of shocked me. Um, I thought I would like it, but I didn't know that I would like it as much as I do. So Button is adorable. Then we have Frida. This one is a satin. This one is really close to Button. And honestly, you don't need both. But I picked both because I grabbed for both like the same amount of time. Frida looks like it has maybe just a little bit more pink in it, but I mean, look how close those are. Those are really darn close. Buttons maybe just a little bit more peachy. Frida's just a little bit more, but it's not pink. It's just got a little bit more pink in it. But they're both those really nice, um, just wearable, kind of peachy shades. Just so good for this time of year. Um, obviously the finish is supposed to be different. Uh, button is supposed to be more of a glossy and Frida is supposed to be more of a satin, but they look really close. And Frida's a little bit darker. That is a difference between the two of them, but they're both just such pretty, I don't know, appropriate colors. So they're still kind of fun and they give like life and color to your face, but you can wear them most anywhere. This one is corset and oh my goodness. I mean, just look at it. It is an amazing, this is a hyper glossy pinky purple but it's still like wearable. I mean, it's a statement lip because you know, it's a pinky purple lip, but it's still not like a super, I don't know, Barney purple or anything like that. It's got a lot of pink in it, which makes it, you know, more easy, um, makes it easier to pull off. More easy, huh? Makes it easier to pull off. So I just love this one. It's such a cute color, corset. And then, oh my goodness, if I had to pick probably one all-time favorite from ColourPop, it might have to be this one. I absolutely love this. This is Heart On. It's a matte and it is just the most gorgeous bright berry pink color. Oh my gosh, it's fuchsia, it's pink, it's got a little bit of purpley tones in it. It's amazing, I can't get over this one. And because it's a matte, it sticks around on the lips just a really good amount of time. Oh my goodness, I love this one. I mean, and then like next to corset, oh, those are so girly and amazing. Heart on, yes. 
Next is I Heart This. This is a matte, and this is another really beautiful bright color. But as you can see, this is like a bright blue-based red. It is, again, amazing. I think I've said that about everything I've shown. Um, but this one is just like so bright and amazing. It's kind of like, I don't know, snow white or something, especially against my really pale skin. <laughs> it's very snow white. But, ah, oh, it's just such a beautiful bright red. I love that. Don't mind the little scar on my hand. I don't know how long that's going to stay there, but it's there with us for now. So, yes, I heard this. Such a pretty bright color. And if you love a dramatic red lip, this is Bichette. This is a matte, and it is incredible. It's like, um, it's a blue-based red, but it's dark. So it's almost like a blue-based red mixed with like a brick red or something. I don't know, there's something really just statement about it. I really love this one. Oh, but I mean, it's a statement. So you have to be okay with a red that's definitely going to get some attention. Um, but you know, if you're like really wanting to dip your toe into a more out there color that you're a little bit afraid of, $5 for a lippy stick, that is the way to go. Okay guys, our lip swatch application is getting a little bit rough as we go. I've got two more and my lips are like full on dyed and looking kind of sad, but that's okay. We're gonna pull through because I wanna show you these last two. This one is Flawless, it's a satin. This is a beautiful purpley berry color. This is amazing for like the fall and winter, really any time of year, it doesn't matter. You can wear whatever you want, whenever you want. But this is just such a gorgeous, purpley, like grape kind of a berry. What did I say? What did I say? A berry, a purpley, what? <laughs> a purpley, grapey, berry type shade. Something like that, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's just a really pretty, more purpley berry. I've said that like five times as opposed to more of that like pinky berry. You know what I mean? This one has just um, a richness to it. It's very um, statement. I love it. This one is so pretty. They're all amazing, but yeah, flawless, definitely a favorite. And then last up is LBB. This is a matte also, and this is a really nice, I have a lot of mattes and satin. This one is a really nice, kind of more wine berry. So it's definitely less purple than Flawless um, and it's not as red as um, Bichette is. So it's just a really deep berry. But I love, um, now with this one you probably saw, it does kind of catch on your lips when you're applying it because it's a more dry formula. It's definitely a matte. But I mean, if I'm gonna go for a statement lip like this, I don't want it moving around. So. I don't mind it being more on the dry side, but this one is just such a gorgeous dark wine color. It has just a little bit of pink and a little bit of red, not so much purple, more pink and red. Just a gorgeous, dark, really statement, dramatic lip. Okay guys, so these are all my current favorite lippy sticks from ColourPop. So yeah, we've got some neutrals there, some bright colors, some reds dark vampy colors. We've just kind of got the whole gamut going on here. Um, but I just love these because they're crazy affordable at five bucks each and they just got like every color under the sun. If there is a particular lipstick color that you are looking for, they've definitely got something in their line for you, I think. Um, I would love to know your favorites down below. Let me know if there are any that are like must-haves that I need to add to my collection. I always love hearing your suggestions. Let me know any questions that you have. I'm always happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.